Hello, what's up guys? Today we have got a Solus IT500 internet thermostat for your central heating. Well, this, uh, this I've been wondering for the last couple of, uh, well, last couple of months to buy one of those for my house to control the central heating of a, a particular room. But I found this one where uh, you do, you can control it through internet and you do have an app as well. And wherever you put the controller in the room, it will control the room temperature with respect to the turn of your heating, where you can save quite a lot of money as well with respect to that one. I have seen the Nest one as well, and I bought it as well. I bought it, I bought it, I put it on, but I forgot it, that that is a thermostat, but it's not a wireless one at all. So it put me down on that one. It was a pretty nice looking, but uh, this is a complete package which I was looking for. So it, got, it has got an Android app and it has also got a iOS app if you've got an Apple, Apple phone and also Internet Explorer as well. So if you've got a Windows Windows phone, so you can use use, use Internet Explorer and on go, go on their website and you can control it through that as well. And again, it's all live as well. That's a good thing. So around packaging wise, it's a pretty good packaging. Packaging, we are not bothered about it. You know, it doesn't matter at all. So what it consists of is basically one one IT one IT five hundred controller one IT five hundred thermostat thermostat one IT five hundred RS receiver which will be connected to your comp boiler and an ITG five hundred which is a router. What will do? What this router will do? It will communicate with your IT five hundred thermostat and send the information straight on the internet and uh, an adapter for this particular. Uh, uh, router and a ethernet cable sorry ethernet adsl cable they call it adsl cable to connect this remote unit which connects your controller to the internet uh, device to connect to your router okay so simple as that so let's open up and let's see what we got inside it's a solus solus tech.com well it's i bought it from amazon.com i'll put the link in the description as well so if somebody wanted to buy one of those so let's open up and see what we got inside here so let's the packaging is open you have got uh, instruction manual user manual instruction manual so this seems to be a pretty good one you know they, they look good i'm sure they will be full of informatic and uh, it's a it's a pretty straightforward job i think you know every time when you when you buy something like that everybody will tell you you know you need to it needs to be installed by a professional professional but I think I can do much better than that. So these two instruction manual, installation manual is available there. I have got a data sheet from my Combi Boiler. So I don't think so. I need any more information about it. Two of them. Here's your controller. If you have a look, let's open this one. There you go. This controller is a very decent looking one. As you can see that it's got a, it's a touch screen right there. And it's like a, it's like a simple like touch screen, capacitive touch screen. Increase and decrease power up and all these things are there. Once we power up, once I power up, then I'll show you it's much better that way. So we're just going to open up things in first. So there you go. I showed you this controller. Here's your controller which connects to connects the device to the internet using your uh, using Ethernet cable to your router. You need to make sure that your Ethernet router should have a spare a spare plug available to connect this device to the Ethernet internet to internet. So that controller is there. Let's open up the further packaging. A little bit of a screws are there. Here we go. This is a stand. This this is a helping stand actually. If you wanted to put it on the table, you won't be able to put a table like that. So what you need, you just need to hold it right there on the back here. Let's open up and show you straight away. So let's not waste the time on that bit. So here we go. You hook it like that, and now you can stand it any way you want it. Look at that, like that. You can see it stands nicely. As well, so if you wanted to put it on the table or on the bench, or well, many people, people people prefer to put it on the table or something in the corner, you know, of their home. But if you want, you can put it. We can make a. You can put it in a wall mounting because assembly and everything is available as well. So you can do it as wall mounted. So these things are available. Some screws are there. Batteries. Well, give you batteries as well. This is a heat link. A heat link, or I can say that uh, link for your. Uh, link for your uh, link to connect connect controller thermostat with your combi boiler from here you can control it you want to do it automatic or manual or off you know whatever you wanted to do it 
and uh, obviously it's got a channel one channel two because the same device can control three zo two zones and also water system as well if you wanted to buy extra bits of kits and you know, it's got options available this kit is got options available so obviously once i'm going to install it then i'm going to explain to you how it's working and what are the connection and everything about it that's much easier these are pretty standard information available for any technician if you wanted to know about it you know how it calls the heating and everything so these are standard standard information not very special information is doable okay next thing comes in the packing okay same thing ethernet cable there you go that's what i was talking about to you wall mounting so if you put it to wall it's got a split level as well so you can you can make sure you, you can make sure you're putting it straight straight on the wall or charger sorry not charger i wouldn't say that's just a charger it's a adapter for for your ethernet ethernet connection one router side and ethernet cable as well these three things will straight away go on the separate area anyways so these are all the packages that are involved so i'm going to install it tomorrow morning tomorrow morning hopefully and i'm going to make a video of that bit as well so that will be a second part of this video so so let's uh, let's uh, i would say let's stop the video and uh, i'll i'll start uh, putting it on together so here we, go, here we go guys i'm going to install it now this uh, remote unit which is next to my combi boiler combi boiler which i got is a mains combi boiler so in terms of circuitry i'm going to show you in the circuitry what sort of circuitry is got but what you need to when you do is installation of this sort of unit with your combi boiler i want you to make sure you shut down the circuit shut down the main mains of it and also take the fuse out and make sure that circuit breakers are also all turned off as well so you need to make sure there's no voltage or whatsoever around it use multimeter which i'm doing here which i've got it so use your multimeter or or if you can't if you're not uh, if you're not sort of uh, happy with it you know in terms of installation better ask a professional to do the job for you so that's how i'm going to start it now so first thing i'm going to do i'm going to install this unit and I put a wires across it across it and i'm going to show you the what are the wires i'm using so we have just installed it now i connected four wires here two on the channel which is uh, which, what i'm using is i'm using normally open contact normally open contact means when when heating will be called to run it will make a circuit or normally open circuit open open and uh, this is live and neutral right there this is live and neutral at the moment it's not connected so i'm touching it once it's connected i won't be touching it so all will be covered as well and uh, live and neutral just to power this whole unit whole room remote unit so let me connect it to the combi boiler i'll show you further more pictures and also the video you know where i'm going to connect it just before opening just before we open the our combi boiler controls control areas what we're going to do we're going to make sure the fuse is out as you know i've taken it out the fuse is out as well and the circuit is off as well and circuit breakers on top is off as well so you need to make sure there's no voltage there's no current or power available to the combi boiler so we're going to open this combi boiler which by using these two screws and lifting the whole part out and this every this control panel which controls the combi boiler on the top will comes down and we're going to install it i'm going to show you what wiring we're going to install it to that would be much easier there you go now everything is open is our circuit which we're going to follow so what i'm going to do i'm going to connect the power for that particular this unit by live and neutral here and also and the connection which calls the which calls the radiator to come on and off by using this wireless internet thermostat is right here at the moment it's got a link in it so that means either you can turn it on by using the timer which is already installed on this device on this combi boiler so you can use this connection as a remote connection as well if you want to so this is like uh, when uh, thermostat will tell the heater to come on it will just make a connection right here that's why i connected a normally open on up top so this is just a bit of electronic terms you know so so that's the that's, that's just you need to remember that so i'm going to remove this link this box which is mentioned right here i'm going to remove this link from that one and i'm going to connect normally open normally close normally open in a common contact right here and I'm gonna keep saving the link. I'm gonna put it right there as well for for in case you know in future I need I need to remove this unit, so I need to put a link on it 
for her compiler to work nicely without any thermostat there you go I have just connected them all so the power connection is done and also removed the link from this area and connected my normally open uh, so open contact of uh, this particular relay that particular module so there you go this is all connected now so what I'm going to do now I'm going to just close it and tidy up the area and uh, put uh, put the cover back on top of it cover which is uh, just one moment which is that one and also there's an PCB right on the back as well which obviously has to have a make a have to make a link on it so we're going to power it up and let's see what we get uh, you know then we're going to power every single bit of the uh, bit of uh, our uh, our uh, remote uh, I was I'll say internet thermostat or a wireless thermostat and we're going to pair them all both together and start the work then so I just powered up the combi boiler and as you can see this unit has also been powered as well and you see the channel one is a green at the moment and as a unit I put the batteries in the unit as well uh, wireless thermostat it uh, is showing you the real-time temperature and by scrolling this figure up and down you can set the temperature what you want to and you press this button on top of it it will accept it I will go through that with no problem with that so first thing first I need to pair this unit with that one so at the moment the it's not calling the heating because the temperature is set to the very low one so just to make sure I just wanted to make sure that is it connecting okay, is it may is it working or not what I'm gonna do okay what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm, I'm going to set a temperature higher than uh, set point okay there we go I set it up hey, so you see this wireless sign on the top of it that will send it the signal to the device and as you can see that the blue light is flashing on auto and manual and off thing so you can see that that is working now and compressor and the boiler has been asked to work straight away and as you can see from here the heating light just came on and it started to work so there you go that means this unit is easy to pair up and everything is working with respect to the temperature now it's going to maintain the temperature of uh, my boiler room because this unit this wireless unit isn't just down here so, so it's going to maintain the temperature for that and also when it was heating is on it will be showing you this uh, with, with this light for sign on it we set the temperature up and everything on this unit first uh, sorry we set the timing and temperature uh, timing everything on this unit so just bear with me for that so at the moment it's just a standard thermostat working I have not connected a remote option with it yet so what I'm gonna do actually is I'm going to install all those uh, wireless kit you know wireless router kit which is which is this one with my router this is a straightforward connection user manual is a pretty good instructions they done is a very nice instructions if you follow if somebody can follow them instructions nicely I don't think there will be any difficulties to to carry on this all actions so just bear with me for that one so I'll go through that one later with you I have uh, just connected uh, this remote module remote module which is called uh, forgot the name of it I'm sorry for that uh, it's called uh, uh, ITG 500 unit remote unit which will let you uh, will let your uh, wireless thermostat or uh, internet thermostat to connect on internet and I'm going to hook it with my router on the behind I've got a one spare connection so after that I'm sure once it's connected to the internet you will see this light will gonna go to green so just bear with me for that there you go guys now the unit is connected to the ETH router as you can see on the back wall well, it's very dark in here we can't see really so it's connected to the router and this light is a green that means internet is available to it and what you can do you can drop this unit on the back side hidden sort of you know doesn't matter so there you go and also you are, you will notice that uh, that uh, your uh, your thermostat wireless thermostat if I put it right there you can easily see that wireless thermostat if you open it you will see this internet sign on top of it globe sign on top of it that would say is that that would suggest that you know you are connected with the internet so now only thing you need to do you need to register your uh, internet thermostat on uh, Celus website which uh, which I hopefully I'm going to show you as well how to do that and uh, there you go then uh, you can use your app straight away so now I have uh, created an account on Celus website 
which you can easily find it on the internet and I will put the link on it if you guys want it here's the link you need to go on this particular website so and register your email ID so you need to add your device first you press the add button and you need to put the device address and everything normally you can find I'm sorry normally you can find the device address just behind this here this cover just behind this cover but what I've done actually if you follow the instruction you need to record this device number right in this instruction so let me find show you where I've added it so I can show you one minute give me a minute because I've already put every information right there we, we need two of them we need two of them I found them give me a minute for that just there look at oh yeah now what we need to do there you go just I put all the information in there in there now I need to enter this tag this number on online thing here okay just give me a minute for that so it's called okay let me delete these all words first so cap lock s t a T A. I'm gonna write it down there. S T A. Is it one, two, three, four, three zeros, one, three, six, seven, six. Okay, and and two digits is B eight. So register and what you will see that it will add this device into it now the device has been added and you can go inside this device and it straight away will tell you the what is the temperature running at the moment on it the current temperature so let me go back there you go you will see this this display and that display they both are related to each other now you can control this area you can use this internet website to control the temperature in your house where this thermostat is stayed and you can also check everything individually whatever you can do in around this website everything is there you can access this all information on uh, using your Android mobile phone and also your uh, Apple 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 store Apple Apple app as well so this all information is right there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a next video where I'm going to show you how to install the app for this Solus Solus uh, internet con uh, thermostat con uh, internet internet thermostat so stay tuned for that one hey so I'm going to finish this video because this video is getting a bit longer so I'm going to finish this here it's all connected to internet as well and it's all working as well so there you go if you got any questions please do let me know I'm not a professional uh, uh, heating installer or anything like that. I just I'm just a pen pusher who just done 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 a job by just checking the instruction and a bit using a bit of sense. I won't say it's a common sense, it's a bit of sense actually. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. Cheers.